Hey everybody, Angry Poncho here, and we are back playing Oblivion. It has been far, far too long since I said goodbye to you guys, and uh, there's so much I need to talk about. This this ep whole episode here is going to be uh, a recap on what's going on and where we're at, and then we're going to go get the skeleton key. I'm going to try to do it all in 15 minutes, so i got to be fast. Alright, first thing I wanted to look at is, voila, our faction progress. We have beaten the arena, the Dark Brotherhood, and the Mages Guild. We have completed all three quest lines to their fullest extent. Here's my stats, if you want to pause the video and take a look at my uh, skills, levels, and that sort of thing. It's all right there. Uh, here's what we're carrying. Just got uh, a bow, we got Shadow Hunt, and then Blade of Woe. And I got some light armor here, and a, a ring I intend to enchant. We got some potions that we've either made ourselves or bought with some extra gold we've got. We have 15,000 gold now, so we're doing pretty good. And we have the uh, Soul Gem with Manny Marco's soul in it. Uh, and although this is going to be the beginning of the Thieves Guild, I want to go ahead and finish up some things in Frostcrag Spire before we move on. I might put this video at the end of the Mages Guild's questline and the beginning of the Thieves Guild. So the first half is going to be for you Mages, the second half is going to be for you Thieves Guilders. Your Thieves, I guess I could just say. Here in the Jewelry Box, we'll find the Pentamagic Loop, which fortifies five of the seven uh, magical arts. You get that, uh, you find that there uh, when you purchase the final upgrade for Cross Frostcrag Spire. When you've bought everything there is to buy for Frostcrag, that jewelry boss box appears. And then you can get that ring there, so you see five skills that augments. Pretty nice. I'm not going to use it though, since I'm not really using magic in this questline. I'm going to try to use the bow as much as I can. And of course, avoiding fights entirely would really be the way of the sneak. Let's head on downstairs. I believe we're going to go ahead and use this, uh... <coughs> my Marco's Soul Gem. I do want to duplicate it before we... Whoops, that's the wrong button. You have to forgive me, this is like, I've literally had the controller in my hands for like five minutes in the past month, and so I'm kind of rusty on the, what I'm supposed to be doing here. Let's go ahead and drop some of these. Yeah, I only need two. I'm just going to make two of this uh, filled Grand Soul Gem. Cannot remove quest items. That's a problem. If I can't drop it, I can't duplicate it. Let me make a save game and then see if I can use it to create an item. Because if I can't if I can't use it to enchant something, then there's really no point in having it at all. Which would kind of just be disappointing. Let's see. We'll add. Whoa. I can, it's not even on the list to be, of things that I can add. That's really strange. There has to be something that I can do to get get it to stop being a quest item. I mean, surely they don't expect me to have to carry it around for the rest of the game. Let's see. How do I? Let's see. Let's see active quests. Paranoia, Tears of the Savior... Hmm. Yeah, there's no, uh... Well, damn. Yeah, there doesn't seem to be a Mage's Guild quest that I can work on right now. Let's see... Reminus Pauls, thank me for putting an end to the... Recognize me as Archmage, and that's the end of it, isn't it? Oh, wait a minute. If I take too long in returning to the chest, I will lose whatever was placed inside. So that's... Part of the Mages Guild, I guess, although I've never actually used that. Hmm. I'm a bit concerned now. I really want to know how to get that crap to stop being a quest item. So let me look into that. Alright, so apparently, due to a uh, coding error, there's no such thing as. You know, you just literally cannot drop that particular Soul Gem. It's c c permanently a quest item, so there's nothing we can do about that. Alright, so fortify... what do we want to fortify? I'm going to fortify sneak, because that's really what we're going to need in this next quest line, is to be able to sneak effectively. So we'll say, whoops, okay. Fortify sneak, 10 points. Use up one of our grand soul gems. Let's call it uh, uh, the sneak. Let's just call it a sneak ring, so I can remember what it is when I look at it in the inventory. Always good to have practical names, right? Let's see... Oh, whoa, whoa. no, not that. No, I want, I want capital letters. There we go. Here we go. Getting the hang of things again here. Sneak ring. And we'll make one of those. Very nice, because that was one of the suggestions I got. And another was to enchant a bow. So let's see what we can do here. I believe shock was to, uh, I was told that shock is the best to use, because there are no races that are uh, resistant to it. So let's see. I can do 39 points of damage. Let's do 35. So many castings I can get out of this. If I do 37, I get 21. If I go all the way up to the maximum, I get 19. Let's do it so we get 20 uses. How about that? There we go. 37 damage. 
And of course we can't increase the area or the duration unless we want to decrease the amount it does. Alright, so let's just let's do that. So shock damage, 37 points for one second on strike. Let's see, what do we want to call it? Uh, oh, just the bolt. Or well, it, the bolt would be the arrow, wouldn't it? Well, bolt thrower, that works. Bolt. Wait a minute. Blot. No, no, no. Not blot. Bolt thrower. And then you can use the T for both. That's kind of cool. Yeah, 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 yeah. God, I can't use this virtual keyboard very well. Oh yeah, I should use the D-pad. That's right. Okay, there we go. Bolt thrower. Looks like bowl thrower, but whatever. That works. All right, and we've got two other grand cell gems hanging around in our inventory. If we find anything else that we want to uh, use, so let's use bolt thrower instead. I've got some dwarven arrows here and some iron arrows. Whatever, it really doesn't matter to me what kind of arrows they're using. They're all fairly similar. I'll use these dwarven ones, why not? All right, so let's get on with things. We need what do we need to get? Uh, I don't think we need anything actually to get Nocturnal to speak with us. Uh, if I'm remembering correctly, she doesn't require an offering, so let's. Let's go speak with her. She's not even picky like a zero about when we talk to her, so let's go down to Nocturnal Shrine down here in the swamp. Way down here. There it is. Travel to there. Hey, there's Shadowmere. Alright, and here we are at the shrine. This is a neat place. So here's the statue. Let's speak with her. Night among strangers. Secrets in the dark. Nocturnal is here. Ooh. But my eye is blind and drowned, stolen from its shrine and hid in dark waters. To steal from a god is most unwise. In Leowen, two Argonians think themselves secret, but the eye has seen them. Find these thieves in the city that spans the waters. Learn where they hide my eye. Retrieve the eye of nocturnal water, and return it to me, and I shall look favorably upon you. Sounds legit. Let's do it. So basically, we need to go to Leowin and find these two assholes who stole uh, Nocturnal's all-seeing eye, apparently. Alrighty then. I believe that now, now that we're here, uh, do we have that as our active quest? We do. Let's see. So we gotta find the thieves. We're given no directive at all in terms of who we should speak to about this. And I don't really remember, honestly. I don't remember either, na either of their names or the place where it's actually hidden, but I know that if we search around and we talk to people, somebody's gonna tell us who we should go uh, and eavesdrop on. Nobody's around because it's the middle of the night. Let's wait until the sun comes up and then hopefully we can find some people who want to talk to us. Alright, well damn it, nobody knows about the Eye of Nocturnal. I can't even like ask him about it. Greetings. How about you? Yes, Adagi is the name. Poor Adagi. Adagi trains, yes. Light armor is the skill. Adagi must work very hard. Now she is all alone in the world. Aww. Yes, she's a light armor trainer. Associated with one of the Thieves Guild quests, I believe. And there is not a single freaking person in here who wants to talk to us about the Eye of Nocturnal. I'm getting pissy. You know what? I played this game before. I remember where the cave is. I'm just gonna go there. <laughs> so, screw all that crap. Oh, finally. We're, here we are at Fogwater. God, what a pain in the ass. Alright. So, yeah, basically... It took me forever to find somebody I could feed on that city. I eventually ended up going into the Mage's Guild and just sucking on one of their necks. So let's see. Let's look at our compass here. For any... Uh, let's see, there's our place we just came from. I don't see anything else to the east or south. So let's go southwest and run along the coast until we find a cave entrance. I forget what the name of the cave is, but... Uh, we should be able to see it from a ways off with our compass. So. Shouldn't really be an issue. There's a bridge here, so I'm going to follow the path. Because that, I think, is going to be more likely to lead me towards something useful. What is this? Looks like an old house. Okay, I seem to have taken a path to a dead end. 
that's strange. Let's go back. That's pretty neat, though, that there's an old house there. I feel like there's some kind of secret involved in that, but it's not a map marker, so it can't be that important. It's like some epic hidden thing, and I'm just totally ob oblivious to. Get it? Oblivious? No. Alright. I'm gonna fast forward till I find this damn place. There's a will o' the wisp down there. Those are fun. Ugh. There's a cave. Let's see if this is it. Probably some trolls nearby. I remember the cave being inhabited with trolls. And I said I was gonna fast forward, and now it's been like 30 seconds and I'm about to walk up onto the cave. Where is it? Tidewater Cave. Yeah, that's it. I recognize that name. Alright, let's get in there and grab the Eye of Nocturnal and get out. Eh. Here we are in the cave. And yeah, there's the troll and the mountain lion and all kinds of crap. Anyway, run in here, go left. I'm doing this all from memory. I haven't looked at any guides or anything. Let's go up here, go left. Go left again around the corner. And we should be underwater soon. Yeah. Here we go, and there's... Oh, look at this. I have Nocturnal. How nice. There's a chest down here, too. Soul Gem, Emerald, Gold. Okay, great. Now we'll use our amazing speed and agility to run past these rats in the cave, etc., etc. I'm not gonna even bother. <coughs> ah! Oh, crap. I was stuck between two of them. Ah, there we go. <coughs> Excuse me. And that's all there is to it. We have the Eye of Nocturnal again. Ugh. Knowing how to beat the game is so much easier than actually playing it. Alright, where's our horse? Where's my horse? Now I'm gonna use you as a means of escaping these trolls and such. So I'll meet you guys back at the Shrine of Nocturnal, where we can return her eye to her. Alright, here we are at Nocturnal's Shrine. Let's go across the way here and give her back her eye so we can get our key. My eye is returned, and I once again see into the darkness that is your world. We mock the thieves, for bitter is their loss. You, mortal, may take this. It shall open the secrets of dark places for you. Your mom opened the secrets of her dark... never mind. Anyway, Nocturnal was pleased, and I got the skeleton key. Hell yeah! So you see up there that says skeleton key added? Uh, that's was the symbol for magic. Did you notice that though? It wasn't a symbol for an item. So if you look here, uh, effects on us. Where is it? Here we go. Scroll down, there should be one that says skeleton key. Da -da -da. Where's it at? Oh no, it's it's not listed as skeleton key. It's listed as fortify. Uh, security. There we go. You see it says skeleton key. It fortifies at 40 points. And it also appears in our inventory down here. That's a nice little key with a skeleton on the end of it. Very nice. A skeleton head, like a skull, you know? So we're going to use that from now on. It's an unbreakable, like, infinitely reusable lockpick. Fall in! Alright, back to the Imperial City so we can get on and begin the Thieves' Guild quest line proper. I'm going to head to the Waterfront District. Alrighty then. Whoops. Damn it. What, I don't even know what magic I have equipped. Let me see. Um, let me just keep the shocker on there, even though I don't really intend to use a lot of magic in this quest line if I can avoid it. I'd like to play it like it's meant to be played. Anyway, the reason we're here in the Water District is because we've had this piece of paper in our inventory for freaking forever. Mysterious note. I can offer you greater rewards and less time in prison. If you're interested, come to the Garden of Daraloth in the Imperial City's Waterfront District at midnight. Present this note and all shall be made clear. Signed, the Grey Fox himself. Who's like the esteemed mysterious master thief who apparently doesn't exist, but also exists at the same time, depending on who you ask. Yeah. Hey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Signed from him. Anyway, here's Amusei. He becomes a recurring character because he's a dumbass. That's essentially his role in the game. Alright, so let's fast forward now to, uh... Midnight tonight.